Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Bien. I'm studying English. Hello, Beatriz. Hello, Juan Carlos. Hi, Ceci. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, great. That is excellent to hear. Juan Carlos, is everything okay? I'm great. I'm great. God is beautiful. Great. Uh, Beatriz, what about you? I believe Beatriz cannot hear me. <laughs> it's a Murphy. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Thank oh, you. Great. Okay, great. Great to hear that. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Gracias por unirse. Um, it is really early, so esperaría que los demás se nos una también, right? Okay. So. Very, very good to have you here, guys. And uh, well, today we are going to continue practicing unit number four, okay? Uh, Juan Carlos, I want to say congratulations porque ya tiene el certificado, so he completed. Yeah, very good, very nice. Uh, the, uh, glory, the, the glory is the God. All right, well, that is definitely true. Okay, uh, pero también usted puso un poquito de effort, right? So that is excellent. That's really good, right? Hey, Ceci, what about you? ¿Cómo vamos, Ceci? About to finish too? Ya casi? Ahí vamos, teacher. Okay, very good. And uh, Beatriz, what about you? Vea, se nos pierde de repente, okay. <laughs> that is just fine. Okay, well, today we are going to, well, first of all, let me share my screen. Okay, we are going to start working with uh, some of these activities. All right, so this is what we are going to be doing today. You are going to learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food and also in a very general context, okay? So how to use adverbs of frequency. Eh, si completamos ya parte de la unidad de la sección 4, 4, 5, 4, 6, 4, 7, so you know what I'm talking about, okay? So we are going to practice this part a little bit. First of all, eh, I have a question for you, okay? And the question says, uh, what do you do at the weekend? Okay, so what do you do at the weekend? Uh, first of all, vamos a repetirlo, okay? So we are going to repeat it para que nos vayamos acostumbrando to the pronunciation of these words, okay? And later, vamos a practicarla. So, let's repeat it, please. What do you do at the weekend? What do you do at the weekend? What do you do at the weekend? Good, very good. I always go out on Saturday. I always, I always go out on Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Sometimes I go to a restaurant. Sometimes, Sometimes I go to, I go to a, a restaurant. restaurant. A restaurant. A restaurant, very good. And sometimes I watched a movie. I sometimes I watch a and sometimes movie. Sometimes I watch a movie. Mm -hmm. So the uh, next one. I never go to concerts. I never go to concerts. I never go to concert. Very good. And but I often go to my friend's house. But I go often go to my friend's ghost house. House. All right. House. Okay, very good. I always have a good time. I always have a good time. I always have a good time. Okay, very good. That is actually very nice. Nancy, hello. Thank you very much for joining. Okay, great. So, estamos practicando, okay? We are reading the, these, uh, the answers to the question, what do you do at the weekend? Okay? So, everybody, let's repeat the words that we have in red. Always. Always. Sometimes. 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 Never. 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 Often. 
often. Okay, very good. Now let's repeat these words. Saturday. 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 I'm sorry about that. Okay, um, so let's take a look at this one. Okay, next one. Restaurant. 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 Very good. Watch. What? What? I watch a movie. I watch, I movie. watch a movie. Very good. Concerts. 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 Friend's house. Friend house. Friend house. I have a good time. I have a good time. Very good. So let's take a look at this. If you pay attention here, uh, Ah, excellent. All right. Just a second. I see also we have Alejandra here. We have Nancy. We have Mayra. Thank you very much for joining. All right. That is great. Okay. Just allow me a second. I am going to... Uh, okay. So I'm going to sign this. Okay. So first of all, let's take a look at the words that we have here. The ones that you see in red color, like always sometimes, never, often, they are called frequency adverbs, okay? They tell, uh, well, yeah, they tell us how often you do activities. Que tan a menudo, how often you do activities. And if you pay attention here, you have always after I, I always, I always go out. Sometimes I go to a restaurant and sometimes I watch a movie. I never go to concerts, but I often go to my friend's house. I always have a good time. So it is really important to pay attention to these words, okay? But the most important thing is to have an idea, right? Como les puedo utilizar? How can I, how I can use them, all right? First of all, always. What is the meaning of always? Always is to tell you that I do one activity 100%, okay? So that means siempre, 100%. Most of the times, le agregamos un percentage. Le damos un porcentaje to have an idea. No es que esté fixed, okay? No está casado, but nos da una idea de, de qué tanto, right? Sometimes, eh, never, often, so ellos nos indican también frecuencia, all right? Always. Es siempre, never, es el opuesto. That would be nunca, right? I never go to concerts, all right? But I always go out on Saturday. Guys, what about you? What is something that you always do? What is something that you never do? What is something that you often do or that you sometimes do, all right? For example, let me uh, share my personal example with you guys. Um, all right, so here we go. For example, I, okay, I always check my email, all right? Take a look at this one. We are going to use always in this position. I always check my email, all right? Siempre, I always check my email, but Something that is the opposite is I never watch uh, soccer matches, for example. Soccer matches son los partidos de fútbol, all right? So I never watch soccer matches, all right? So yo nunca los veo. I always check my email. I never watch soccer matches, all right? And then we have like a couple of of a more frequency adverbs that we are going to be using today. But I just wanted uh, to let you know about this because uh, son los que más utilizamos, right? So we have I always, I never. Always means 100%, all right? So siempre lo hago, I always do it, all right? Never is the opposite. So never means 0%, all right? So can you please help me with this? Can you tell me one example using always and one using never? ¿Qué actividades son las que nunca hacen? All right. Um, 
hello Claudia, welcome. Uh, I see Claudia too, I see Vicky, I see Vilma. It is really good to have you here. Okay, gracias por unirse también, all right. So let's take a look at this part. I always and I never, all right. So I'll give you like a minute, okay. Y escribamos un ejemplo. Let's write an example. Ceci, tell me, Ceci. Eh, never I watch a movie terror. Ah, okay, okay. Let's write Ceci's example here. Ceci, well, Cecilia, right? Cecilia never watches a horror movie, all right? So Cecilia never watches a horror movie. Very good. Thank you, Ceci. All right, there we go. So ella nunca las ve. She never watches a horror movie, all right? Yes, thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? I always mm -hmm. uh, check uh, uh, I study holy, holy bubbly. Ah, yes, sir. Juan Carlos always, uh, digamos, reads, siempre lee, the Holy Bible. All right. So Juan Carlos always, Juan Carlos always reads the Holy Bible. All right. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else? Alguien más? Anybody else? I see Alejandra right there. I see Vilma, Claudia, Mayra. All right, do you have an example for me? Not yet, Mayra. Okay. Okay, no problem. It's okay. All right, uh, Cloud, do you have something for me? Not yet. All right. So, okay. Victor, hello, Victor. Good to see you here. All right. So let's take a look at this one more time. Always, okay? Algo que siempre hago. I always. I never. Algo que yo nunca hago. So what I'm doing here is only uh, describing, right? Some of the activities that I do. And uh, allow me just a second here. Okay, there we go. And, uh, and something really important is this. If I have third person singular, Como estoy hablando de presente simple, I have to remember that if I say Cecilia, if I say Juan Carlos, it is important and necessary to indicate that they are third person singular. Yeah, so watch us, read, okay? Are we all right? No questions? And if you have questions, please let me know, okay? So let's take a look at this question one more time. What do you do at the weekend, all right? So, ¿qué hacen el fin de semana? What do you do at the weekend? Guys, we are going to practice, okay? So my dear, we are going to get in groups, all right? And we are going to try to answer this question. What do you do at the weekend? So right now, let's do this. Vamos a usar solamente always and never, okay? Right now, only always and never. En un momento vemos los demás, all right? So, but tell me activities that you always do and tell me activities that you never do. So I always, I never. Solamente trabajamos con esos ahorita, all right? I always and I never. So we are going to get in groups in right now. Let me see. Oh, I see some examples in the chat too. I always cook, says Nancy. And Klaus says, um, I always take, uh, okay, breakfast. Very good, very good. That's all right. Okay, so let's make some groups so we can practice speaking, all right? So let's get started. Now, let's go, guys.
Okay. Great. Eh, ¿Cómo hacemos? ¿Quién empieza? What do you do? A todos ahí, hoy todos quieren Yo. Digo las primeras. Ok. Eh, the question. I always cook. No. Sería, uh, what do you do on the weekend? The weekend. Alejandra, um, what do you do at uh, the weekend? I always uh, play with my daughters. And I always cook. Oh, Very right. nice. Very good, very good. Let's continue. Yeah. Uh, Vicky, what do you do on the weekend? I always uh, go to a supermarket. Oh, okay. Okay, nice. Um, let me see, Juan Carlos, what about you? What do you do at the weekend? Eh, I, I never go to concert. Okay, you never go to concert. Tell me something that you always do. Repeat? Yeah, sure. Uh, tell me something that you always do. Que es algo que siempre hace. What is something you always do? Eh, I, I... Uh, I never watch. Mm -hmm. uh, I, perdón, perdón, perdón. Uh, lo que siempre hago es uh, always set my email. Email. Okay, very nice. So you always check your email. Okay, very good. That's okay. Uh, Nancy, what about you? What do you do at the weekend? I always supermarket. Ah, oh, okay. You go. always go to the supermarket. Mm. Uh, Nancy? Repeat. Yeah. You told me uh, you always uh -huh. go to the supermarket. Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. That's okay. Come on, Nancy. What else? Um always train train no sé cómo se pronuncia la like, train? entrenar train eh, no uh, oficios hacer oficios trainers uh, okay that would be like cómo se dice hacer oficios yeah sure we can okay i will share this with you hmm. okay yes a second Okay. Maybe we can do like I I do chores, okay? I do chores, yeah. Or I clean, for example. All right. I clean. So I, I clean. clean home. Yeah, exactly. I clean my house. All right. Or I do the chores, okay? Or we can okay. say, aha, uh -huh, yeah. That would be the most common, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I always uh, clean my house. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That is very good. That is really good. Okay, let's continue. Allow me just a second. All right, let me check something here. Very good, guys. Continue, continue, right? Okay. Hello. How are you guys? I see Claudia, Vilma, Beatriz. Beatriz, I think the audio is not helping us. Bea, can you hear me? Hola, teacher. Yo no les escuchaba nada a mi grupo. Uh, yeah, yeah. I cannot listen to, to Beatriz, but I guess she's trying. Uh -huh. Bea? Sí. Beatriz? No sé si... Escuché un rato y luego ya no se escuchaba, se escuchaba bastante interferencia. Ok, so maybe we can 
send her a text message. Beatriz, we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you, right? So she can fix it. That's okay. Uh, but I see Edwin, Mr. Pineda, hello. Hello. Perfect. Thank you very much for joining today. So I see also Vilma. Hello, Vilma. Vilma, Vilma. All right. So Hello. Mr. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Okay, so let's let's practice. We were practicing this question. That is, what do you do at the weekend? Okay. Also for Mr. Pineda, who has just uh, joined us, right? So. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this one. The question is, what do you do at the weekend? All right. So, ¿qué hacen el fin de semana? What do you do at the weekend? So, Vilma, Claudia, uh, Mr. Pineda, tell me, what do you do at the weekend? Beatriz also. Beatriz, I don't know if you have some uh, technical issues there. Ay, perfect. Now, yes, we can hear you. Very good, very good. Okay, so tell us, guys, what do you do at the weekend? ¿Qué hacen? What do you do? Vamos a usar Mr. Pineda always and never right now, okay? Always. Okay. All right, so tell me, guys. Uh, I always go uh, visit my mother. Okay, very good. That's okay. Thank you. And sometimes I go to a restaurant. Oh, okay. All right. That's all right. Any others? Claudia? Um, Wilma? <laughs> okay. I always take a shower. Okay. Me too. I always take a shower. <laughs> okay. That's all right. Yes. Um, I always take a bus for my show. Okay. Show. For my job, yes, that's oh. okay. Thank you. Uh, Beatriz, what about you? Uh, I work. I also work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can use always. Let's repeat it, Beatriz. Repitamelo, always. Always. There you go. I always work. Always work. Very good, very good. ¿Qué más hace? What else? ¿Qué más hace? More activities. Guys, eh, los dejo. Practiquemos, okay? Practice. We have, eh, well, ya vimos que los tres micrófonos los, yeah, funcionan. So, let's practice, okay? Voy a ir a visitar el otro grupo. I'll see you in a couple of minutes, okay? Okay. Hello. Ceci, Mayra, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Aquí estamos, teacher. Perfect. Tell me. <laughs> Inven. Oh, okay. Practicing. Inven. Okay. Practicing. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tell me, Ceci. Uh, listen to my oraciones, ¿cómo se dice? Sentences or examples. My sentences. Uh, I, I always do, I always go to church on Sunday. Very good, very nice. ¿Está bien o me falta algo? No, 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 that's perfect. I always go to church on Sunday. That's good. Ah. Uh, I always cook rice. Ah, okay. Like always, 100%. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, always, todos los días, siempre. I, I always cook rice, cocino okay. arroz. Okay, okay, that's okay. Uh, I never play soccer. Okay, that's all right. Good, very good, Ceci. I never travel. Okay, well, todavía no, not yet. Okay, very good, that's excellent. Mayra, what about you? Tell me some activities uh, you do, girl. 
Um, I always cook. Cook? Uh, I always right? go shopping on the Monday. Ah, okay. I never go to the beach. Okay. I never drink drink milk. Yo nunca tomo leche. Really? Okay, okay. So let's repeat this. I never cook. Repitamos, right? Cook. Okay, so I never cook. Yo nunca cocino. Really? Mm, yo siempre cocino. Ah, I always, I always, always cook. Mm -hmm. I always cook. Cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you I told cook. me, yes, you told me you never drink milk, right? Nunca toma leche. What about okay. coffee? Do you drink coffee very often? No? Uh, no. Not really. Okay, that's okay. All right, very good. I, okay. don't, I don't like. Oh, you don't like coffee. Okay, I see. That's just fine. Okay, <laughs> uh, well, girls, let's continue practicing, okay? We have one more minute. And we are going to jo uh, join the main session, okay. all right? So practice, practice, girls. Hello, Leah. How are you? Hello. Hello. I'm Gracias fine. por venirse. Thank you very much for joining. All right. Thank Estamos you. practicando. So we were practicing how often. Okay. Is... Por eso es que no estábamos acá. All right. <laughs> okay. So. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. Gracias por venirse. Thank you for uh, coming back. All right. So, fal me faltan un par. So I'm missing a couple of them. I believe they are still in groups. So, oh, okay, there, here they are. All right, excellent, guys. So we were practicing, what do you do at the weekend, right? Que hacen el fin de semana. That was uh, the part that we were practicing. Now, I ask you to only practice using always and never. Right now, we are going to practice different frequency adverbs, okay? I'm going to share with you my screen so you can take a look at it, all right? And we can practice this a little bit, um, you know, a more, right? So we have adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency, me dicen que tan a menudo. They tell me how often something happens, que tan a menudo algo pasa, right? So how often something happens. And I mentioned before that we use percentage. Sure. Hello? Uh, often is a menudo. Often is a menudo. But the question okay. how often is Thank que you. tan a menudo. All right? Thank so, you. You're welcome. Now, let's take a look at this. 100%. 100% means que siempre, right? 50%. Uh, kind of. And 0%. Que nunca lo hace. So let's take a look at the frequency adverbs we have here. Okay, number one. He always studies. Okay, always. 100%. Siempre. All right? Now, take a look at next. He usually studies. Usually. Usually means, oh, 100%. And then usually. Okay? So, vamos por menos. Take a look at next one. Often. Uh, often is almost, almost 50%. Okay? A menudo, pero no tan frecuentemente. Take a look at next one. We have, he sometimes studies. Okay? Sometimes. 50%. All right? So, uh, so kind of. Let's take a look at next. He rarely studies. El rara vez estudia. He rarely studies. Okay. Um, and let's take a look at next one. He never studies. Okay. 
So he never studies, él nunca estudia. So here we have some of the most common, all right? Uh, of course, in the virtual, in the platform, habían algunos de ellos. Here we have some others. Mr. Pineda, eh, allow me a second here. Tell, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tell me, Mr. Pineda. Solamente para, como consulta, ever hardly es lo mismo que rarely. Oh, sometimes um, I'm going to change a screen so I can explain that part. And uh, sometimes people use right here, okay? So there is a one frequency adverb that is this one. I hardly ever drink coffee, okay? Uh, for example, take a look at this. I drink coffee, but not very often, okay? Because I don't like coffee a lot. So I hardly ever drink coffee. Hardly ever is very close to never, but hardly ever would be like maybe 5%, maybe 10%, um, okay? So hardly ever means casi nunca, all right? Never, y el anterior sería hardly ever, casi nunca, all right? So, rarely es un poquito más frecuente, all right? But this one is not. This one definitely is not. So, never, and here, in this space between rarely and never, encontraríamos um, hardly ever, right? Exactly in this position. Are we good? Good. Okay, great. Good to hear that. Okay, now let's take a look at um, the sentences we have here. Adverbs of frequency come after the verb be, okay? For example, she is sometimes late. Si tengo el verb be, the frequency adverb lo escribo después, all right? She is sometimes late. Take a look at this one. The students are never bored. First, verb be, luego frequency adverb. All right, so this is important porque es la parte gramatical, all right? Now, let's take a look at next one. Adverbs of frequency usually come before other verbs. Cuando tengo el verb be, lo escribo después. Cuando tengo otros verbos, lo voy a escribir antes. The frequency adverb, lo escribo antes del verbo. She often checks her answers. I often eat mango, all right? He usually pays attention in class. So, primero, frequency adverb, frequency adverb, and then I'm going to write the verb, okay? Este es el orden. This is the order, how we use it, all right? So, let me change the screen right here to explain you a little better, okay? It is like this. I always check my emails. All right, I never watch soccer matches. Lo escribo en esta posición because tienen que ir antes del verbo, all right? I always check, I never watch. Cecilia never watches. Juan Carlos always reads, reads, sorry. I hardly ever drink. Are we okay? Yes? Okay, nice. So, si tenemos preguntas, you can raise your hand, right? Or podemos escribirlas también en el chat. Now, let's take a look at this one. Okay, I'm going to, yes, I'm going to share something here with you so we can practice. Allow me a second. Okay, there we go. So, let's take a look at this one. I want you to write an example using the following verbs. I want you to use the following verbs, okay? The first one is going to be write. The other is going to be eat. The other is going to be drink, and the other is going to be cook, all right? So we have four different verbs. I want you to write an example using frequency adverbs. Of course, not solamente always or never, but you can use more. 
For example, with right, let me give you one example. I'm going to choose a different color here. Okay. I always write letters and emails. Okay? I always write letters and emails. Take a look at it. I, well, casi siempre, right? I sometimes eat breakfast. So, I sometimes, all right? Yo casi siempre, algunas veces, right? So, I sometimes. So, I'm going to choose a different color here, and I'm going to choose a different color here, so you can take a look at it better. So, let's remember this. We are going to use the frequency adverb in this position. Subject, frequency adverb, y luego el verbo. All right? So, we have four verbs. Tenemos cuatro verbos. Please, hagamos el propio ejemplo. Do your own example. All right? Write your own example. I will give you two minutes to do that. All right? So, let's write examples, guys. If you can share them in the chat, that would be great. Si los podemos compartir en el chat, that would be awesome, right? I'm sorry, I'm going to, okay, there you go. Guys, I am right here. If you have an equation, please let me know. Si tenemos preguntas, you can ask, right? Y si pongo, teacher, a uh, uh, son tie, dry, very fast. Um, all right. Let me write your example. Uh, right? Did you? Right? I'm sorry. Okay. Remember uh, that uh, uh, right is escribir. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. ah, okay. So, Juan Carlos, do you check it? Okay, so we can read some examples here. We have Leah saying, uh, let me see. She Is usually she drinks uh, coffee. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Juan Carlos. Y si pongo a uh, uh, son tie, dry, uh, mes, mensaje, me, okay. mens, mensaje de Holly Bowen. I sometimes, yeah, sure. I sometimes write uh, messages, okay, or Christian messages, right? Messenger, messenger, whole, uh, holy bowling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be fine. I I some, the holy bowling. Mm -hmm. I sometimes write messages uh, from the Holy Bible, okay, from the Holy Bible. Ah, okay, okay, from, from. Mm -hmm. oh, la sería from. Yeah, that would, yeah, that would be fine. Okay. From the Holy Bible. All right. Um, so what about the others? Take a look at eat, drink, cook. Guys, one more minute. Hi, very good. I see Mr. Pineda has sent some um, examples here. I always eat pupusas. I never drink milk. 
I usually write to my mother, all right? And Nancy says, I rarely drink wine. Okay, very good. That is very good, guys. Teacher. Hello. Aquí no, te, no colocamos la S. O cuando eh, sí se coloca. In I. I'm sorry, is the equation for I? Like, for example, I usually write to my mother. Or mm. where? Remember that S, le agrego la S para indicar tercera persona. So that means with he, she, um, and it. Cuando mm -hmm. estoy hablando de, ajá, de mí, no. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Pero la S solo en el verbo, en el verbo se coloca. That is correct. Exactly. For mm. example, um, ok. Claudia has here, I never write a letter. And then mm. I say, for example, Claudia, never and then writes a letter, yeah? So, because I'm saying Claudia never writes, eso uh, de ella. but if I say okay. I, it is not necessary, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. There we Thank go. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. I see Alejandra, I never write with black pen. I always eat chicken at the weekend. I never drink coffee in, um, for dinner. I sometimes cook cakes. I very good. That is really good, Alejandra. Very good job. Uh, Claudia, very good as well. Uh, let me see, let me see. I guess that we have some examples over there. Mr. Terpinada too. Nancy, very good. Okay, very good. Very good job, everybody. Super bien. You're doing a good job. Okay. Um, so, can you please help me with I sometimes drink soda, Mayra says. Very good. Okay, now let's take a look at this. We have a eat, all right? So can somebody please help me with eat? May I have one example using eat? Vicky, do you have one example for me? Tenemos un ejemplo para mí, Vicky. Do you have something for me? It, eh, ok. Yeah, I never, mm -hmm. I never drink yes. coffee. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a drink. Ok. I never drink coffee, you said. I'm going to erase this one. I never drink coffee. Very good. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Pineda, do you have something with cook? I sometimes cook pizza. I sometimes cook uh, pizza. All right. Thank you very much. Very good example. This is good. Let me see. Uh, uh, in mm -hmm. Yes. Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. I see Jocelyn here. Can you help me please with eat? Hi, Jocelyn. I think we're having some issues there. Okay, uh, can anybody help me with it? Alguien tiene algún ejemplo con it? Can you help me? Eh, uh, sometimes eat. Mm -hmm. I sometimes eat. Pupusa. Oh, okay, pupusa. Really, sometimes, no, no tan a menudo, okay. As Salvadorian, I think that we always eat pupusas. Okay, very good. They are really good examples, guys. Okay, really good examples. This is actually very good. Y es la composición correcta. So, excellent. This is really, really good. So, uh, to finish, okay, I have some questions for you guys. I will, okay, I'm going to show you the questions right here. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so the question is, how often do you? ¿Qué tan a menudo usted? How often, for example, how often do you fall asleep studying? ¿Qué tan a menudo se duerme estudiando? How often do you fall asleep studying? I always fall asleep studying. Okay, how often are you tired? ¿Qué tan a menudo están cansados? I am always tired. 
I am never tired. So I have some questions for you, okay? And I want you to answer these questions, okay? Number one is, how often do you study in a group? Que tan a menudo estudian en grupo, right? Number two says, how often are you bored in class? Es el verbo be, entonces voy a cambiar esto por are. How often are you bored in class? Que tan a menudo estás aburrido, right? In classes. Number three. How often do you listen to the teacher? Que tan a menudo escuchan al profesor. To the facilitator, right? How often do you practice English? This is really important, guys. How often do you practice speaking English? Que tan a menudo practican, right? Always. Never. Sometimes. So what is your answer? How often do you get a 10 on a test? Que tan a menudo tienen 10. How often do you get a 10? Yes? And number six, how often are you confused? Are you confused in class? Que tan a menudo estás confundido, all right? So, I want you to practice, okay? You can take a picture. Podemos tomar una foto de las preguntas. You can take a picture of the questions, okay? And we are going to practice. Pero la tiene tapada, teacher. ¿Cómo no veo las preguntas, teacher. Oh, Está all right. Tapada. What about now? Can you see the questions? Okay, allow me a second, guys. Thanks. Okay, hold on a second. Something happened here. Okay, can you see the questions now? Las logran ver? Can you see them? Yeah, yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. So, this is the one. I never study in a group. Okay, so. Uh, did we take a picture? Tomamos una foto de la imagen? Did we take a picture? Yes. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> the idea. Okay, excellent. <laughs> that is really good. Okay, allow me just a second and we practice in three, two, one. Let's go. Hello, Jocelyn. Hello, Ceci. Hello, Jocelyn. Can you hear me? Jocelyn. Hello, hello. I can't hear you. Studying, studying, uh, you're in group, in a group, así. Mm. Yo no entiendo qué vamos a hacer realmente. 
Aquí está, vamos a hacer una pregunta de lo que estaba diciendo la ticha. Que qué, 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 tan, tan, qué, qué tan a menudo estudiamos en grupo. A uh, of, a uh, hope of, often, oh, perdón. A uh, of, often do study in group. Thank you, exactly. So what we are going to do is solamente practicar responder esas preguntas, right? How often do you study in a group? ¿Qué tan a menudo estudian? So I always study in a group. I never study in a group. I sometimes study in a group. So vamos a practicar los frequency adverbs, right? Thank you very much, Juan Carlos. That was a really good explanation. Gracias, teacher. You're welcome. So guys, let's practice. Practiquemos, let's practice. Mm. Um, Nancy. Hi. Um, how, how often do uh, be boring in class? You in class? Um, um, often? Often a student and group. Oh, okay. So let, let's take a look at the questions that we have here, right? Uh, so Nancy is with question number one. How often do you study in a group? Nancy, you said often, right? A menudo. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. That's all right. What about, um, let me see, Vicky. How often do you study in a group, Vicky? Oh. Uh, Always, Over, um, always study in a group. Oh, okay. So, siempre study in group. Do you always yeah. study in a group? Okay, very good. Alejandra, what about you? I sometimes study in a group. There you go. Juan Carlos, and you? I never study in the group. Oh, okay. I see. No so quieren you estudiar en el grupo. Okay. <laughs> okay, I see that's all right. So let's practice. Remember, cuando tengamos B, vamos a escribir la pregunta like how often are you? Como um, acá, you. how often are you bored? Que tan a menudo te aburres like in classes, right? In presential classes or something like that. So practicamos, guys. Let's practice. All right. Voy a visitar el siguiente grupo. Try to practice. And if you have questions, si tienen preguntas con algo, I'm here to help you. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you guys? Are you practicing? No escucho nada, teacher. Oh, let me see. I think that Beatriz is trying to tell us something. Beatriz, can you hear? Can you, can you listen to us? We cannot hear you. I believe, okay. I believe Beatriz has some technical issues, but it's okay. Let's practice, Mr. Pineda. Vilma, I don't know if Vilma can listen to us too. Okay. Teacher, es que yo por rato no les escucho. Entonces, ah, okay. y se escucha bastante interferencia. All right. In, in right now, ahorita sí nos logra escuchar. Sí, ahora sí. Right. Perfect. So let's practice, okay? Espero que Beatriz logre solucionar uh, her problem too. So, guys, how often do you study in group? I often in, um, I often, it, yeah, I can share the equations, no problem. Okay, so how often do you study? right? How often do you study in group? I usually, mm -hmm. I usually right. study in group. Excellent. Okay, Mr. Pineda, how often do you study in a group? I hardly ever uh, study in group. Oh, okay. I think that's okay. Vilma? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Beatriz, Beatriz right there? Can you listen to Beatriz? No. No. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I thought it was me. Okay. So, take a look at number two. How often are you bored in class? 
que tan a menudo están aburridos. How often are you bored in class? Uh, I never. never. Ah, ok. Vale, ok. So, I am never, I am never. Remember, I ¿cómo am. es el verbo be? I am never, exactly. I am never bored. Ok, yo nunca me aburro. All right, I am never bored. No. Ok, number three. How often do you listen to the teacher? I always mm -hmm. listen to the teacher. Hey, great. Very good, very good. Vilma, what about you? How often do you listen to the teacher, Vilma? Uh, <laughs> I Sometimes. Usually. <laughs> oh, okay, usually. <laughs> usually. Okay, that's okay, usually. What about number four? How often do you practice speaking English? Uh, I usually practice speak English. Good, very good. And Vilma? Usually, mm. never, hardly ever. No, usually. 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 Good. Uh, I usually practice. I usually practice speaking, speaking English. Speaking English. Good. Well, let me tell you, I always practice speaking English, okay? <laughs> All right. Now, let's take a look at number two and we finish. How often do you get a 10 on a test? How often do you get a 10? Cuando, eh, ¿Qué tan a menudo sacan 10? How often do you get a 10 on a test? Eh, hardly ever. <laughs> Uy, why? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Pineda, how I, often do you get a 10? I... I sometimes get a 10 on tits. Okay, wow. very good. That is excellent. Very good job, guys. Okay, excellent. Vamos a volver a la sesión principal, okay? We are coming back. Very good job, guys. That that was excellent, okay? Thanks. ¿Qué tal, teacher? Preguntémosle ahorita. Hello, guys. Uh, uh, listen up. Vamos a volver a la sesión principal, all right? Y la pregunta mm -hmm. la, la vemos también, tal vez, de todos, right? So we can discuss okay. it, all right? Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Tengo una pregunta. Tell me, what's the question, Vicky? El, la rayita que usted había puesto ahí antes del, después del do, ahí va, iba toda la oración y al final el you, o, o dónde se coloca el you. Ah, oh, normalmente la pregunta es how often do you, how often do you, y luego el verbo, how often do you clean? How often do you read? How often do you study? How often do you speak English? So normally, uh, las preguntas van con uh, how often do you o el sujeto, right? Not necessarily you. Puedo tener cualquier sujeto. How often eh, does Alejandra, for example, how often does Alejandra walk? How often does Alejandra play soccer? How often does Alejandra Listen to music. So, no necesariamente tiene que ser el you, right? Estábamos usando you porque era una pregunta directa. That was a direct question. All right? Y el ejemplo número 6, teacher. Eh, ¿Cómo es? ¿Qué dijo que? How often, allow me one second, let me check that one. Oh, how often are you? Are you, mm -hmm. no sería do you? Are you? How often are you confused in class? All right? Okay. Okay. Teacher. Okay. Yes, Alejandra. No. No, teacher. teacher. Okay. Teacher. teacher. Yes. Yes, Mr. Pineda. Teacher. I'm sorry. Yes. Es, es, estaría bien entonces si digo, how often mm -hmm. do? No. How often does my mother cook? That is perfect. That is great. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, ¿y la dos cómo quedaría? How, how often? How often, how often, how often? How often are, are you? How often are you? 
How often are, are you, you bored? bored in class? Yes, how often bored. are you bored? bored? Say B, teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Alejandra. Say B, be bored. Yeah, dice be bored, pero hacemos la conjugación, right? We are going to conjugate it. Um, okay. okay, guys. So, everybody, les voy a escribir las preguntas in the chat, all right? Para que ustedes las revisen y confirmen lo que ustedes tienen. If you have any question, please, también eh, escribamosla, right? And um, so, that is everything for tonight, all right? Gracias por unirse. Thank you very much for being here. And nos vemos hasta la próxima semana, okay? Terminamos la próxima semana, guys. Please, avancemos. Next te, week. ¿Cuándo finish? Next week. Avancemos lo más que podamos, all right? So, everybody, bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend.